right, you creeps, you are back with Gone But Not Forgotten, where we take a look at underappreciated, perhaps, actors or actresses that are no longer with us. Today, we are looking at Mr. James Franciscus. It was an excellent pick. EJ, if you give us what you know about him, I know him mainly as the guy that was not Roddy McDowell in Beneath the Planet of the Apes. Yeah, I've always been a fan of James Franciscus. The first thing I ever saw with him was Beneath the Planet of the Apes. And that ending was so phenomenal uh, with James and Charlton Heston. They, they had to fight each other first because they were being mind controlled. And then they had to uh, they, they join forces and they had the, um, they were both astronauts stuck on the Planet of the Apes. And they were, they were fighting the apes and, and his other creatures. And I just thought that was such a cool ending. I, I always liked them. And then uh, the more I watched him, I, I started seeing him in stuff like a lot of TV. He did a lot of TV work. He was in uh, The Naked City. He did that for a little while before they replaced him with uh, Paul Burke. But he, he was on like six different TV shows. One of them was the show Long Street, which is kind of famous now because Bruce Lee was on the episode. Uh, he was on the series for four episodes. He played, um, I think his name was T. He was a, a, a martial arts instructor. And he was teaching on the show James Franciscus Martial Art. He always, I always liked his style of acting. He was, a lot of, uh, he was in the movie The Valley of Guanji, which is a dinosaur movie. Uh, they try to capture this dinosaur, and they, they want to use him in the rodeo. He was in, he was in that. He was in um, Good Guys Wear Black with Chuck Norris. He was a bad guy in that movie. He was in The Concord Affair, I think one of the disaster movies. He just he did a lot of good stuff, and uh, he, he died young. He was only 57 years old when he died, I believe. He had emphysema. He was a, uh, I think he's a chain smoker, but he was one of these guys. Um, he was a good-looking guy. He he, he was kind of uh, he had that that confident style of acting, and uh, I just always I always liked him. And um, you know, and, it, and it's sad when these guys. And he died in he was born in 1934, and he died in like 1991. And it's sad when like nobody remembers who he is. And at one point, there was a time where everybody knew who James Franciscus was. Now you ask the average person. They don't know who he is. Uh, if you say beneath the planet of the apes, like people me, like me and you are gonna know him, or, or like the Valley of Guanji, that's a very popular movie. But other than that, they they don't know who he is. So I kind of I was felt bad for those actors because they either died young or they they just fell into obscurity. So I always like to try and promote them and and try to get a a, a new generation of fans going. And some people. They might catch on and say, oh, this, this guy is really good. And they, they might want to watch this stuff that he did. He had some pretty big shoes to fill on Beneath the Planet of the Apes. Because essentially he's, I know that uh, Taylor was in the movie, but he's sort of like the new Taylor in a way. What happened with that movie was Charlton Heston was, was in the, the, great, the, the, the great first film. And he didn't want to be in the sequel. And so they got uh, James Franciscus. With the beard, he kind of looked like Charlton Heston a little bit, even though Charlton Heston was a little bit older. They they signed James Franciscus to be the star, but Charlton Heston agreed to come on as a cameo towards the end and what what ending that was. That's probably my favorite Planet of the Apes ending. I just think that's a badass ending. So if you don't know James Franciscus, check out some of his films. Most people watching this have probably seen Beneath the Planet of the Apes. You may not have really known who he was, but now you do. Check him out. He's a great actor. Yeah, I, I would say check out some of his TV shows, too. The Naked City, he was in the first season of that. And the Naked City is a tough 1950s uh, gritty police drama. He was very good in that. And in Long Street, um, if, you like, uh, if you love Bruce Lee like I do, Bruce Lee was in four episodes of that series. And that's, a, and that's iconic now because of Bruce Lee and... It was, a, it was a very good show, too. Uh, James Franciscus plays Longstreet. And uh, so I would say Google him. Go on YouTube. Check out some of his shows. You know, I mean, Valley of Guanji is a very good movie. Uh, that came out in 1969. You want to check out two good movies by him, Beneath the Planet of the Apes and Valley of Guanji.